Hi everybody, welcome to our channel, Rebecca, Stu, and the crew. I'm Rebecca. I have my daughter Savannah with me today and we're going to show you guys how to make some no-sew Christmas pillows. The supplies you're going to need for this first no-sew pillow comes from Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree. So from Hobby Lobby, we're going to use some polyfill. You can use old rags or an old pillow if you like. You're going to need one placemat. They have these at Hobby Lobby at 50% off right now. And then you're going to need some material of your choice, some fusible web. And then from Dollar Tree, you'll need some of these adhesive rhinestones and some ribbon of your choice to coordinate with your material. You're also going to need a chalk writer, a pair of scissors, of course, you'll need an iron so that you can um, iron on the fusible web, a chalkboard tag from the Dollar Tree, and some cardboard or construction paper. So let's get crafty. So the first thing we're going to do is trace or freehand draw a stocking onto your cardboard and then cut that out. So that's what we did here. It was a little bit long, so we did have to trim it. Now we're going to take our material that we're going to make our stocking out of, and we're going to trace this onto... Um, the material just using a sharpie marker but you can also use that chalkboard writer so then we're going to take our fusible web after we cut this out now when we iron this onto our um, placemat we're just going to do the outer edges because we want to stuff the center of our stocking so the first thing we do here is cut off the little um, heel and then the cuff at the top because we're going to make that out of the adhesive rhinestone to give it a little bit more um, flare there so we just trace that out and cut that using our fusible web like I said you're just going to do the outside edges of the um, stocking here and then iron that on according to the directions leaving the top open so you can stuff it with some of the polyfill so now that that has cooled down we're going to go ahead and stuff our stocking with the polyfill making sure we get the stuffing all the way down into the toe then taking some more fusible web we're just going to close the top of our stocking here now we haven't stuffed our pillow yet because we wanted to be able to iron it easily so now we are going to open the um, seam of the placemat and we're going to start stuffing that with the polyfill and then we went ahead and closed that with the fusible web using some of the hot glue we just put the uh, rhinestones on the top and then on the heel of the pillow because we had already cut those out earlier as you saw in an earlier step so now that we have that part done all we did was we applied one of these little chalkboard tags and a little ribbon up to the corner and we did use hot glue for this step and that is our whole entire first pillow finished I love this one it's definitely my favorite so for pillow number two we're gonna make a little red truck pillow so the supplies we're using again is one of these placemats from Hobby Lobby and then you'll also need a needle or a piece of tape that you can use to tape around the edge of your ribbon. We're going to need the polyfill again or some old rags or an old pillow. You're going to need a Sharpie marker, some tape. I'm using this painter's tape from Dollar Tree, a piece of paper, and then you're going to need some scissors. Again, you'll need the fusible web, the heat bond fusible web that they sell at Hobby Lobby, some ribbon that coordinates of choice I'm going to use some green jute twine and then some of these doilies from the Dollar Tree I'm also going to use some glitter writers and so we're going to start crafting now for the second pillow so we're going to take our doily and tape it down into place over top of a piece of paper now I'm using one of these red truck signs from Dollar Tree to trace out because I wanted to do a little red truck so you guys can do anything it doesn't have to be the little red truck you can do a Christmas tree a snowflake doesn't really matter so now we're going to cut this out using a pair of scissors just along the outline so taking some of our buffalo plaid ribbon we're going to help add some detail to the little red truck just by weaving this ribbon in and out where the doors would be and where the little fenders go over the tires and adding some little green bows with the twine to the Christmas tree so once we've got those details in place we're going to use our fusible web again just lining it up underneath of our doily here making sure that we get it covered pretty well on the edges mostly and definitely some in the center once we've got that all into place I make sure I got enough fusible web up under the top where the Christmas trees are and then we're going to place a towel over top of this and iron it into place according to the directions once that cools down I peel the towel off 
and make sure that it is sealed up all around the edges. So then we're going to go ahead and fill the pillow the same way we did with pillow number one and then using a little bit more of the fusible web to seal up that little part of the seam that we opened up. Then I took these glitter writers because I wanted to add a little bit more detail to my little red truck. So I just followed the pattern according to the wood sign to trace like the fenders and around the door. And that is that second pillow finished. And these are so easy. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And here are some other videos from our channel that you might also enjoy. Have a great day.